Hey guys, this is American Eye bringing to you one of my favorite topics. Now let's get on to it. Many of us might wonder what the apocalypse might be like someday in the near future, but we might not always get the chance to experience what it's like. While many places go abandoned because they're toxic, they're not the best places to explore since they could be harmful to your health. Other apocalyptic areas are becoming tourist attractions and can be very unique places to check out. From a sunken prison in Estonia to churches decorated with bones, here are the most apocalyptic places that you should actually visit. But first, we'd like to give a quick shout out over here to this commenter for leaving us this comment. We appreciate your insight and would like to hear more about what you think of our videos. Number 13, Orador Sir Glenn. If you want to see what a city looks like after being heavily bombarded, this might be the right spot to come to. Orador Sir Glenn was a small French city near Limoges that was devastated during World War II. During the D-Day invasion of Normandy, an armored panzer division was ordered to head north to stop the Allied assault. A group of the French resistance was stationed at the city, and they tried their best to intercept the counterattack. The French thought about rebuilding the city, but Charles de Gaulle didn't really want to. He preferred that the ruins of the town be left the way that it was to show how brutal the Germans were on this day. Abandoned Shopping Malls Abandoned shopping malls are popping up all over America thanks to the increase in popularity of online shopping. Malls were constructed all over the 50 states but are now empty especially in the Midwest it appears. It could be a sign of an economic decline happening at this very moment. Now that we have the ability and convenience to shop in the comfort of our own homes, you have to wonder if all malls will eventually go out of business. Some have been transformed into community centers while others are just simply rotting. The competition doesn't get any easier with Walmart becoming the conglomerate that it is now. It seems as though malls will someday become like blockbusters, circuit cities, and Toys R Us, just a distant memory from the past. Make sure to pay your local mall a visit so they don't turn out like this. Number 11, the Titan Missile Museum. Where else in the US can you visit a nine ton replica of a weapon of mass destruction? The real one was actually moved in order for it to become a museum. However, this missile here that was used in train exercises looks quite real. The only real megaton missile silo in the US that's actually open to the public from the Cold War offers a truly mysterious apocalyptic experience for those who want to visit it. The silo is so hidden away in the vast Arizona desert that it was decommissioned in 1982 by Ronald Reagan. Now you can easily find it by searching it on Google Maps. People can visit the living quarters of the crew who are ready to bring upon a doomsday if asked to do so. You can spend the night here for the right price and pretend you're living in the Cold War era. You can also check out the keyhole where people would have actually turned the key for it to be launched. Number 10, the Sedlik Ossuary. In the case of the apocalypse, bones might become a convenient building source. Located in the Czech Republic, this 13th century ossuary is certainly on the list of creepy tourist attractions in Europe. During this time, the demand for burial space at this location was at an all-time high. Crusaders had brought back soil from the Holy Land, making it a hot spot for people looking to be buried there. During the 19th century, there were so many bones at this location that the priests actually decided to use the bones as building blocks. The inside is basically decorated with bones along the interior like you see in this photo, and elaborate statues are made into things like chandeliers. Number 9, Pompeii. Here's what we all might look like in the case of a supervolcano going off. The city of Pompeii was once a prosperous city in the Roman Empire until it was completely covered in volcanic ash in 79 AD. Located near modern day Naples, it's now one of the best preserved ancient cities in all of Europe. It was home to many amenities such as an amphitheater, a gymnasium, and a complex water system. During its peak, it reached a population of 11,000 people. Some of the inhabitants are still preserved from the very thing that brought their demise. Frozen in time, this is one of the only places in the world where you can see people actually turn into statues. Them and the entire city were buried in ash from the Mount Vesuvius explosion. Here in this photo, we see what's left of the Temple of Jupiter and the volcano that brought the end of this thriving civilization. Currently, it's one of the most popular tourist attractions in Italy. However, it's being quickly damaged by erosion, vandalism, and light exposure. Number 8, Pyramiden. One of the strangest and most apocalyptic places in Norway has to be the completely abandoned settlement of Pyramiden, located in the territory of Svalbard to the north. The Soviet Arctic ghost town was once prosperous due to large amounts of coal in the area, but now that all the coal is gone since 1998, so are the people. However, Norway has been hoping to turn this area into somewhat of a tourist attraction. 
Not being situated too far from the regional capital of Longyearbyen, it's a quick hour ride by snowmobile or a few hours by dog sled. If you do decide to come here, be sure to dress warm and try not to get too spooked out by all the abandoned things here. Number 7. The Hera Submarine Base Estonia was an important area for the Soviets to fortify due to its proximity to the neighboring Finland. If enemies were able to get submarines into the Gulf of Finland, it would have certainly meant bad news for the major port city of St. Petersburg. The construction of a major submarine base about an hour outside the capital city of Tallinn was once essential to control the Baltic land. Built in 1958, it was used while they occupied Estonia up until 1991, when Estonia finally declared their independence. The site is now abandoned and there have been no attempts to repair it for any reason. Urban explorers have now claimed the base as their own, and scrapers have taken everything of value. Number 6. Pripyat and the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Ever wonder what an abandoned nuclear wasteland might look like? Here's a place to come! You might get the chance someday to be able to visit the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone if you're able to pay off the right people. More recently, it's been open to tourists, but only for a short period of time so you don't get radiation poisoning. The Duga radar installation in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone is an abandoned Soviet military project that is just completely massive. This was constructed in order to detect enemy aircraft missiles or other objects before they were able to fly into Russia. The abandoned city of Pripyat, however, absolutely must make this list and there's no way around it. Just be careful of the radioactive bears while you're exploring through the wreckage. Number 5. The Garlach Mental Hospital as mental health was beginning to become more research in the 1800s, more and more mental hospitals were being opened up in Great Britain and around the world. In 1896, the hospital opened up with 540 beds, which was just about the right size. But as time went by, it became a tuberculosis sanitarium as this outbreak was striking more fear into the population. It continued to function as one for roughly 50 years and nearly doubled in size in 1904. Eventually, once tuberculosis became less common, it just functioned as a hospital up until 1996 when it finally closed its doors. It's been a popular place for urban explorers to check out and get spooked out by any little noise. Many claim it's quite haunted though, and just by looking at it, it seems to give off some spooky vibes. Number 4. Rumu Prison This abandoned prison, located in the country of Estonia, was once considered to be Europe's Alcatraz and certainly not a place you'd be willing to go to. A quarry was formed in order to gather marble in the 1930s, but it quickly became a prisoner camp where subjects would be forced into a life of slave labor. Near the quarry, there are two prisons, with the one being most visited being Rumu Prison. Groundwater began to rise here and it submerged the prison, but surrounded by crystal clear waters and white sands. The flooded prison was once home to much human suffering, also became a dark tourist attraction for thrill-seeking scuba divers. Built from limestone, this house an estimated 7,000 convicts between 1930 to 1931. It might not look like there's much to explore from the outside, but there's seemingly an endless amount of things to explore underwater. In present times, local Estonians enjoy having picnics in this area. Number 3. Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum Who would want to take a tour of a haunted lunatic asylum from the 1960s in West Virginia? If the zombie apocalypse broke out during the 19th or 20th century, it certainly seems like it could have started right here. Not only is it apocalyptic, but it's also one of the most haunted places in the country that you can actually visit. This location once housed thousands of mentally ill people. It's said to be home to unexplainable voices and sounds that would send chills down your spine. Hundreds have unfortunately died here, and it's believed the souls of the mentally unstable still wander the hallways. Number 2. The Sarajevo Bobsled Track Ever wonder what a good apocalyptic venue for the Olympics might be? No need to wonder any longer, Sarajevo, the capital city of Bosnia, was once awarded the 1984 Winter Olympics. Looks like nature is taking over now in this photo. The bobsled track at one point held 50,000 people to watch luge and bobsledding spectators. When war struck the area, the track was damaged and eventually used to place artillery. The track is still there to this day, but is still covered in graffiti. Now that the war is over, people enjoy using this area for bicycling. And number 1. Ember Village This ghost town in the UK is one of the stranger ghost towns in the country that tourists are actually allowed to visit. Located on the English Channel, just west of Portsmouth, residents were forced to flee their homes so American and British troops could train for the invasion of Normandy nearly 70 years ago. Residents thought that they could return to their city once the training was over, but they thought wrong. 
It was deemed that the land was too strategic for the military, and the town remains abandoned even in modern times. It's now the largest army training grounds in the UK, and seems like a great place for some paintball. Visitors are allowed to come on certain days of the year, but the Ministry of Defense can withdraw access on short notice.